In Danville, students can return to the classroom next month. Tonight, the school board approved a new hybrid plan that requires strict face coverings. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us how student performance factored into that decision. Danville City School Board votes yes Thursday night to bring its students back to the classroom. Interim Superintendent Catherine McGork outlined the hybrid plan, which comes after 26 listening sessions in three weeks. So I've had parents talk to me about the concern that they have for their children. Kids are social and they want to interact in their lessons with their teacher. Kindergarten through third students who want to come back will get four days a week and fourth through high school students will get two days starting next month. But unlike other divisions, Danville will require masks even at six feet apart. We want to open and stay open and we're promising our parents that we're going to do our very best not to have um, positive cases. Board members Tyrell Payne and Philip Campbell voted no. They think the few amount of days the students will be in the classroom between November and the end of the year isn't worth the risk as COVID cases remain high. And I just think that, you know, it would have just gave the teachers and administrators more time just to make sure everything was in place that when the first year come, everything will be in order. And Danville publicly shared some of the first grade data we've seen this school year, which played a role. More than half of their freshman and sophomore football players would be academically ineligible based on current grades. And some children do very well with virtual learning, and then others miss that engagement. And um, if we don't have kids in the right place, I think we're going to see a lot of ac academic slide. In Danville, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.